From Prince William clashing with King Charles over a helicopter, to details on Meghan Markle's new lifestyle show, and why the king has stopped taking Prince Harry's calls, in case you missed this week's biggest news from across the pond, here's your Royals recap. A new report revealed that Prince William clashed with King Charles III and Queen Elizabeth II over flying his family around the UK in a helicopter. The Prince of Wales, who's a trained pilot with an extensive military background, has had several heated confrontations with his father and his late grandmother about the safety of flying himself, his wife Kate Middleton, and their three children, according to royal author Robert Jobson. The royal author claimed that Prince William once got into a tiff with the late queen when he ignored her request not to fly his family the 115-mile trip from Kensington Palace to their Norfolk home, Anmer Hall, noting that the queen was haunted by the 1960s crash that killed the captain of her flight. He also writes in the new book, Catherine the Princess of Wales, a biography of the future queen, that Kate considered turning down the title of Princess of Wales. According to the Daily Mail, an excerpt says that Princess Kate considered refusing the royal title to avoid any stressful comparisons to Princess Diana. Jobson claims she ultimately agreed to take on the role because enough time had passed, she had her own special qualities, and she did it out of respect for her husband and the king. Prince William and Prince Harry's uncle Lord Robert Fellows died on Monday at the age of 82. His cause of death is undisclosed according to his obituary, which was published in the London Times. Now when it comes to Prince William and Prince Harry's falling out, there may actually be hope for their relationship. A source close to the situation told People on Wednesday that although their rift is very bad, it's not irreparable. Cracks in the brothers' relationship first became apparent in 2016 when it was reported that William had concerns with the pace of Harry's relationship with his now wife, Meghan Markle. The last time the princes publicly appeared together was following Queen Elizabeth's death in September of 2022. The royal family issues don't stop there. According to a new report, King Charles has stopped answering his son Prince Harry's phone calls to the point of complete silence between the two. A source told People on Wednesday ever since the Duke of Sussex rushed to the UK to meet with his father after the monarch revealed his cancer diagnosis in February, their communication has worsened due to Harry's desperation for security for his family. A friend of Harry's told the magazine, quote, he gets unavailable right now. His calls go unanswered. He has tried to reach out about the king's health, but those calls go unanswered too. At this point, Prince Harry's wife, Meghan Markle, is reportedly ready for her husband to leave all the royal drama behind them. A former employee of the couple's Archwell Foundation told People that the Duchess of Sussex supports Harry 100%, but wishes he could let go of these lawsuits, be happy, and live in the moment. Industry sources are telling Page Six that Meghan's got a new lifestyle show that will hit Netflix early next year. The Duchess has finished filming the as of now untitled project, which will be a companion piece to her new lifestyle brand, American Riviera Orchard, where she cooks and puts herself forward as a lifestyle guru like Martha Stewart. Prince Harry is strongly rumored to make at least a few cameos in the series, but sources remain tight-lipped about whether he will have an actual role in the show. Meanwhile, Meghan made her own cameo in the Hamptons when she attended the G9 Ventures Summer Summit. It's an event aimed at elite businesswomen hosted by power broker Amy Griffin at her home. Several spies saw the Duchess of Sussex and her pals at Zero Bond owner Scott Sardiano's new hotspot at the Hedges Inn in East Hampton, Sardiano's. Now, if you can't get enough of Meghan and even Harry, you're going to want to watch their latest sit down on CBS. Page Six exclusively revealed the couple filmed an interview with Jane Pauley for CBS Sunday Morning, where they talk about their new initiative centered around kids and social media, which will launch next week. And finally, all hail the new queen of British style. Princess Beatrice topped Tatler Magazine's list of best dressed Brits this year. Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson's oldest daughter was called the Princess of Perfection in the September 2024 issue, which features a list of the top 25 style stars across Britain. She sure has come a long way since getting ridiculed for wearing that royal wedding hat back in 2011. Let's just hope she doesn't have that thing buried somewhere in the back of her closet, because if she does, someone needs to get rid of it. And there you have it, all of the regal news you may have missed on this week's Royal Recap.